So, um, I really started running because I wanted to get in shape for other sports. You know, I really excelled during outdoor track and so I wanted to continue to run. And so from then on in, I ran all three seasons. But um, I mean, I say my initially I didn't really love running. Um, it was something that took time um, to run, you know, to, to learn to really appreciate running. Um, but that's something I'm, I'm glad that I've done. And it's also something that, again, just took some, some maturity and also along the way took some, took some mistakes and some, uh, some growing as well. He uh, always set very lofty goals for himself, both athletically and academically. I think um, his running passion began after his first competition um, for Kog and Chog back in his freshman year when he ran cross country. Um, and he saw some of the older kids and how fast they were running. And I think that was when he realized that he had a lot of potential and he decided to go for it. I mean, it's something that was different, something that I never experienced before, and uh, something that I knew I wanted to stick with. Christian's had several struggles throughout his athletic journey. This junior year, I had a stress fracture in my left foot, and I'm currently dealing with a calf injury, calf slash shin injury. Between injury and um, dehydration, he had some bad experiences in crucial moments of his running career, um, unfortunately, but they, he's risen above them, and this year he's had a very, very successful year. With distance running, it's just your muscles get tired, your bones and your muscles get tired, and sometimes they break down on you. Um, physically, that was a huge struggle. Um, I've also had a lot of you know, emotional, mental struggles. Um, my junior year, I had a great cross country season up until our state meet where I was dehydrated and didn't finish the race. Um, I was in first and I had to drop out of the race because I was collapsed and, and threw up and stuff. But that was really hard. And then going into our indoor season, I ended up getting sick and then outdoor season was not what I wanted it to be. So that was a tough year all around. But um, that was also the year that I made my huge jump and started winning races. Um, so that was also, you know, something that positive that came from it. But um, you know, I've also learned from running that, you know, you don't go up, up, up without going down a few notches. You know, no one's ever going to soar to the top without having some struggles along the way. So that's something that um, I really try to keep in mind when something bad happens is that uh, something good's right around the corner. Come on, Christian, let's go! I'd love to be an Olympian. I'd love to be um, a world champion. Um, I'd love to run uh, a marathon competitively someday. But for me, running is something that uh, takes you somewhere that no other sport has ever taken me. Um, it pushes your limits, uh, teaches you that, you know, beating other people isn't really necessarily the only thing that you want to do. Sometimes it's what you're aiming for, but in other times it's really seeming, it's really seeing, sorry, uh, how hard you can push yourself. And in running, you're running against the clock. And so your standard is the same standard that the world record is, as that the American record is, that someone who's running alone uh, for fun is. Everybody's held to the same exact standard. So yeah, that's something that I really uh, like about running. I can't always be
found